Okay, I found this the other day. Let's see if I can take this off here. Kind of bad position. I'm going to do a load of garbage after. I'm going to do some demo at the other house. I'm going to rip out one floor upstairs because uh, this dog's pissed on everything when I pulled up the old floor tiles. It stunk so bad. I tried to paint it. Couldn't get rid of the smell. So I have to rip out the subfloor. Dog pissed or something. The funny thing is that when the tiles were there, it didn't stink. As soon as I removed the tiles, it just stunk so bad. I don't know, a piece of copper for the collection. Okay, so. This one I should just take the lid off. Still, the weather just sucks. It doesn't get any better. You're lucky to get a half a day, you know, sun and cloud, and then you get back to rain. It's been like this for the last look at this. Put the bin there like two days ago, two or three days ago. Look how much water is in that bin already. That's what I'm saying. It's ridiculous. The weather It's making me wonder if there is a weather modification because they were talking about. They can uh, put a chemical in the atmosphere and the sun reflects off the chemical back. It doesn't come down. Is it possible? Who knows? But something seems weird. And now they're talking about if we get a heat wave, there could be some major flooding. Just because the snowpack is really high because it's still snowing on the high, really high mountainsides. It still gets snow once in a while. It hasn't been melting. So we get two weeks of a, a hot summer day. There's gonna be major flooding. It's gonna get really, really bad. That's what they're predicting somewhat. Can't believe how many dishwashers I'm finding. That's all I'm finding is dishwashers. Like probably half a dozen. Okay, let me get back here. Okay, we got a pail here we gotta grab. This pail here. It's really heavy. Yeah, I want the bag tied up there. Because we're gonna have to put a bunch of toilets in. The garbage can right here, I think. You know what? Wait, let's put this garbage can in two. We'll put them side by side, three if we can. Here, come on this side, or the other side, and then see if that fits in there. To maximize the space.
Starfoam is garbage. I don't take Starfoam. Maybe the garbage load, but this is a dump in the dump. They don't recycle Starfoam here. Technically, they, they can, but I'll have to take it to the recycle center, which I'm not going to bother. Okay. What's over here? Anything else? I don't think there's plastic here. Some of the stuff is garbage. Look at so many scraps. You know, technically that one might be good. I'm constantly doing garbage, so... So now, I think that's it from this house here. Okay, the toilet's in, and then we're gonna break some other stuff. Try to take the load. I don't even know how many are there. Maybe three. So drain that one and dump, dump that one in. Huh? So drain that one, dump that one in. Let's see what else we have here. Okay, so one more toilet. Oh yeah, this one's good. Some of those other pieces I can reuse. It's got rubble and garbage in it. It's pretty heavy. Toilet, wash tub, and some uh, fresh and light screens. And whatever I get from this side. Probably smash a vanity. One vanity and fill whatever we can here. It's hot, it's getting hot, like Palmer Sea. It's cold, I think it's really muggy and hot. And it kind of wrecks your immune system up. Really. You're freezing one minute and then you're sweating like crazy the next minute. Okay, well, we'll show you what we have it when it's full. Okay, that's what we're doing. And this is coming out here, this whole kitchen. And redone and refigured, re, re uh, designed. 
I'm not wearing drywall, I'm just coming out, so... See, leave it to the rookies to break the glass. Well, that one's so tight. I just wonder if it's leaking on the side, coming in a bit. Now have to put a flashing on that wall. Plums come out. Gray stuff is garbage and leaks. It's effective as gray pipe. It has to come out. I think if it was leaking really bad, it would be worse, worse than this. Could be the pipe leaked, who knows? It rains 24-7 here, so... Okay, just keep loading what we can. I don't know, but big stuff. Yeah, break it, break whatever down. There's lots of room there.
Might have to take all the trim off here just because it's oil based. But we'll see. This will be a nightmare. Brown, do you have a screw gun? Uh, yeah. I need a star one. Uh, Fits are downstairs in a in that room basement. That's that outside wall here. I'm not, not sure what we're gonna do here. No real flashing there. We could just run down, you know what I'm saying? I might put an awning. Let's say put an awning on this side. You know, flashing that way, but there's no flashing on the deck part. So I'm not sure. It looks black like it could be moldy. And see how it's starting to disintegrate. It needs some primer and stuff, so we'll see. Okay. Uh, Bradley, I need a ladder too. Huh? A ladder for this side. Just a little step. It's just a step. It's step ladder, yep. Hey, why don't we put that plastic, that glass in the, in the recycle, not a recycle bin, but in the garbage black bin. Just, glass? Yeah. Bring a bin in the house and we'll just get rid of it. Because I don't want to deal with sharp glass. That red bit goes too fine. Yeah, the red one. What is? We'll just let me knock. Oh, I'm not gonna touch that screw. Things are breaks. We're screwed. How can we broke this pipe off? We don't want to do to break these pipes. I need, I need those pipes. Okay, let's just let it fall, stay back. I'll just stay back so it don't get. I know you're a glass guy, but still. Here, just leave it. Come out. Let's just throw something at it and break it. Who cares? 
I'd rather be safe than sorry. Oh, now you got a million pieces. Well, that could cut, cut your leg pretty good, I'll tell you. Oh, see, it hit me right on the foot, see? It's trying to kill me already, this shit. Get me a, gar a black garbage can. Outside. Those big ones. Big garbage cans. Okay. There you lose right around you. Held pretty good. Um, this is probably from the wall. We're taking the drywall. Dry, just probably by the wall. Probably the metal part. What about maybe come here? Up here, you could maybe pry here. And loosen this half. Come my eyes. Take off a second. Let's see how it's going to look. We gotta go one piece. Tries, right?
Okay, give me your, uh, your tool. Here we go. So, yeah. Put it on drill. I want to break this thing. It's Hong, Hong Kong Skyline, probably 25 years ago. Okay, okay just hold, hold hold here, and I'm gonna take the tops off. Two hands on the bottom. Let us let us hook a bit. Get on that side. Oh, okay. There it is. Got it. Yeah, I got first. Hey Bradley, yeah. get that blanket here and spread it on the ground so it'll wreck the corners. Right here, right there. Put that blanket down on the floor and I'll just spread it here nicely. Too big, we'll just put in that room there for now. <clears throat> Doesn't make how there's no service store. Doesn't make sense. No. How would you service a stupid thing? Here, probably like this. Right here. Under here. Boom. Get up. Right here in this one. stuff. Do you have any cutters or anything? No cutters here, right? Do we? Um, Saw, I cutters? Oh, no. I have, like, uh, wire stamps, that's it. You have to see, I don't really bring any tools to this one. Okay, we'll keep moving. Just leave it for now. Maybe we can knock the mortar off or something. Break the pipe. Cut the pipe where the mortar is. And leave the mortar. Huh? Cut the pipe where the mortar is. 
Guck mal, wo anders ist. You know how the mortar, mortar plugs into it? The yeah. hosing? We'll cut the hose and leave the mortar sitting. Here, put, put this here. That's all. We're just we're gonna break it all. Who cares? Just cut it right here. Hacksaw. saw. Boom. Leave the leave the hooked up. Just cut the the mortar off. The drain pipes. And they're not actually just come out. Heck, ow. Come on. Do I have to teach you guys everything? There. Pull it out. Uh, just break the drain off. It's just gonna be replaced. Anyways, carrots. Watch out. Oh, it's the wires wrapped. Oh, the mortar's stuck to it. Let's pry that mortar off. No, oh, it doesn't want to come out. Just gotta pry the mortar through the fiberglass. You know what? Let's get a screw, screw gun. Maybe it's only 100 screws in here. Yeah, let's get the screw gun. And, uh, uh, the bits on the windowsill. Where did it? No, it's not that one, it's the other one. Let me if I can break this block off. Okay, it's done. <laughs> We're doing the hardest shit, and it's like, come on. Wake up, Elm. Hmm. Oh. Hmm. Pretty good. In pretty good. those blocks perfect Sideways, I'll get these top tops off. Let's grab the middle. Yeah, I don't want to tip it. What's this thing here? If this thing's never been installed, <laughs> never been installed. Well, why would that be like that? There's no actually, no really, not. Oh, there's a timer there. Try that timer there, see if the mortar goes. It's going, right? Is it? Turn it again. Turn it. It's not, not doing nothing here. You know these seize up after a while? This one actually turned, it's not seized. Let's see. Huh. Oh. Yeah. 
is any of this stuff in my van? Okay, some of it. Okay, try to put whatever you can in there. Stuff it in there. It's pretty cool. Give me uh, the light. 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 Okay, just take whatever you got there. You need, uh, Where's that? There it is. Does it come out? The latest one goes down. Heavy brass, that one. Last one here. That's a made in China crap. See, that's what it is. Good one. They don't break. Good ones don't break.
Okay, so... Right here, come to one shot. Um, so that's full. See, comes up with nothing. That's some of them are down or something. Or make my truck. Watch my window. Watch the window. Open. Leave the big big, big, big ones over there, I think. I'm gonna have to cut that in half, in half or something. We'll see. The hell are we doing? Don't smack yourself around. Okay. Big, look how big it is now with taking this stupid ugly thing out. See the bar there? Okay, wait, let me. Hold for a second. Okay. Yeah, so, okay, Bradley, take it away. There should be old. Bradley, I think I need your knife. The membranes hold me. Hold your knife. Watch this window, I like that window. It's muggy today, huh? Yeah. Oh. 
what you like. You can cut it, don't get a knife. Come on, come on, uh, come on the side here. Oh yeah, concrete slab, huh? You can knock Cut that plastic on the plywood there oh, Wait, 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 wait. Okay, hold for a second. Okay, watch. Just hit it here for the bar. Hit it right there. Be a hero, it's too heavy. Okay. Of course. You think it was, Bradley? Well, I'm not paying for concrete disposal. I go down a hill. Landfill. Landfill. You're still down the hill. It's big, heavy stuff. Huh? Down the hill. Costs too much to dump the stuff. This is gonna uh, straighten up the bank, anyways. Of course. It's gone, man. Out of sight. Cut that uh, membrane around us. Around here. She so just cut it like that. You have to cut it completely. This looks harder, it's pretty tough. Right there holding. Okay, come on this side. You have to teach your rookies how to do it. Ugh. Don't, don't put it away, we're gonna still we're gonna lift this up. Give me that bar, I want you... Um, where's the other bar? Well, actually use the other bar and then break it. Hmm. Kind of broken. Put this one up, Bradley.
just uh, cement down there only. Talking about riding. Okay, peel that membrane up. Okay, peel it from the wall to peel it. No cutting. No cutting required. Always start from the corner, work your way in. I wonder if that pipe's been leaking already. You know what I'm saying? Because that pipe's shit, gray pipe. Shower. Hold this up. Shower there. Get all the stuff off and cut it around the shower. Just fold it probably in the shower or something. Hey, boy. Well, I've seen it. That's how you do it. You're on a dump site here. That's the best they compile, so obviously, if it was me, it would probably be a little bit bigger, but it's okay. They have to learn. It was 27 something kilograms, 2700. So it's pretty heavy. Jam this in sideways.
Look that one. Okay, we'll see what it weighs, what it pays. Well, what I have to pay anyways. I'm gonna say 100, 100 bucks. Okay. Okay, some bells is here. Yep, they're in there. Some wire. Just dumped that garbage, so now I'm gonna go head back. I seen a fridge earlier, so if the fridge is there, I'm gonna grab that too. It's apartment size, nothing too big. here it's a small one it's almost like for a little camper RV or something it's small okay done deal It's really thin, thin plywood, lots of screws. When you have a towel on there, it just wants to buckle and just tear. I think all this comes out too, all these fishing board. I'm going to be putting. Uh, Party board. See how this must be like almost like an addition because look at this. Why would this be like this? Not a good design. Should be a flashing here too. No, let's figure something out. If I put Ani here, maybe, I don't know, we'll see. Okay, okay, so we're gonna just put a little bit more metal in here. From here, a few things. So wait, that's it? You don't want the other box? Well, what's the other box? Wire. Oh yeah, the wire, yeah, okay, put the wire in. Yeah, but it's garbage out there anyways. Let me just throw that one for now. So much stuff to go through. This thing here is cool. This came, uh, my uh, daughter's boyfriend does moving. And the fire insurance, they had a little flood. And they wrote it off without looking at it. It's nothing off. It's like brand new. Works perfectly. This uh, guitar amp and two big like DJ speakers. The student dump. I said, hey, hey, anything like that, call me. I'll take it. So it's cool. But like, there's no no physical water damage, nothing. But there was a flood in the apartment, and they, I guess the insurance had no time. and said, oh no, write it off. But it does work. Little arcade, big buck world. Like I'm saying, stuff gets written off and thrown away all day long. Even if it's good or bad, people don't care. It's to, to get a gesture out there and waste, waste around and back and forth. The guy has really good insurance and they pay a lot of money, like, you know, 
Like you can get house insurance, say for two thousand, but like I pay close to five thousand. Well, that's the difference. See, if you pay top dollar like that, they they just whatever you tell them, you got receipts. They just they don't care. When a guy comes there and has a, a fifteen hundred dollars or two thousand dollars insurance, they're gonna say, "Oh no, sir, we have to look at it. It's still good." Well, you know what I'm saying? When you have good insurance, which people don't understand insurance. There's a different class of insurance. Bare bones gives you nothing, or you get deluxe insurance. It costs more, but there's no no headache friction. Okay. Go towards the wall a little bit, right by the wall. Go straight up. Almost. Get in there. And, maybe, and I'll take take another bite in again. Do the same thing, go further in. Once that corner pops up, we'll need the pressure. Here's a viewer's video. Scrap metal. My viewer from the Philippines. Junior. Nice pickup there, nice pickup. We'll just send a little more again, further in the corner. Once it starts buckling, yeah, there it is, see? See how you work in it slowly? Eventually it starts lifting. I mean, it's got too many screws, but you know, there it is. Remember, Bradley, always on the edge, middle never comes in. Okay, now, yeah, go the other edge this way. That edge, this one here. Always corners, work your way in. If it was nails, it would be out already. Screws. Huh? Come maybe right to the corner here. Right, right here. Okay. 
I'd rather maybe go where his bar is. Lift up and up. Go here for now, just to get the middle up a bit. Watch your arm when you hit a wall, right? You can attack your elbow. Try to pry it up a bit out on the corner. This is my left side. Just so we can get. Okay. quits for today when we come back noon uh, tomorrow at noon do a little more but uh, this is impossible actually to be honest when you're doing this leave the tile on it comes off better with the tile I think water's coming from that wall gotta be repaired there or something leave the tile on and just pry slowly and you get better you rip the tile off here you can't even get it it's so hard and it's slightly glued too on the edges so it makes it even that much harder Tomorrow I think we just strip drywall. Maybe strip down the washer molds. Lights here. We'll take the bulkhead out. It'll be all stripped completely. There'll be pot lights here. Modern pot lights. And then it'll be a washer and dryer upright. Double sink there. Big round bathtub like a not this crap design, it'd be just the shape of the bathtub only. Taps would come by the window. Be a shower here, maybe a little bench in there. And then I'm gonna put a wall here. Wall up here. Where I said, well, how about put a window? We could do that, put a half wall. But what it is is, I'm so hard to get stuff custom made right now. All, all the materials from China and all these, people are hard, hard to get materials, so. There's some places have a five foot shower door already, but I want a high end one, which comes to Montreal could take, who knows, right? So maybe something like, well, whatever. Uh, I could, I'm thinking, I'm thinking having the shower come this way, or we can have it come this way. And then what an 18 inch rain. I'm not going too crazy on, this and that, and make a, a nice rain shower that kind of comes about 18 inches from the wall, and I have a wand. And this will be a slide this way, and I'll put, might, I might actually put it, depends on how the plumbing goes down below, bring it from the wall, pressure treated, put a little bench in here. Wife wants a bench, a little bench here, and then it's like five feet, one, two, three, four. Uh, so probably to the edge of the wood. So it's not super big, but it's 36 wide. So wider. So we'll see. Okay. 
and then like I say, you're gonna find that water problem is a big issue. And then here, this will come out completely. It'll be a shower base here, five foot shower base, five feet by 32. Gonna gut this completely. And they'll take this stupid ceiling fan out of here. We'll need to put, uh, I would say, two beer pot lights here. This mirror goes, it'll just be like a little vanity like that. A little bit over that. Just simple, nothing too fancy, but we're gonna go, if we go uh, shaker style with maple doors, we're gonna go with um, quartz or something better, who knows. Quartz is kind of a low end, quartz is man-made. Uh, just chunks of quartz in there and it's glued epoxy in there. And I'm gonna try to sell these cabinets and put it up for like 500. Just see what happens. And if not, I'm gonna recycle the doors. Because last time we had we took doors off like this, we sold them for like 100, 130, 140 dollars. This is demand here. If you make a little trailer, uh, a tiny home or something, I mean the door is where the money is. The rest is just particle board crap. See, in these things here, they look dirty. See that? Boom. You got liners here. I mean, some of these are a little bit dirty, but whatever. We'll see how it goes. But they're cheap. They don't have any. That's what I'm saying. These cabinets are crap. See? Nothing. And I talked to the guy who looked at my design, and he said all his doors come with soft clothes, everything. That's standard. Usually it was an option, right? But, anyways, so we, we got this set here. It's Noritake. So we're going to keep this for the kids. This stuff, I don't know, Pyrex, but this is nice hand-painted Noritake. It's probably for the 50s, 60s, maybe. Not super old, but hey, it's still a nice, nice set. So we'll end up going here. There'll be a sink here, but the wife wants a sink here. I don't know why. I'd rather have a nice cook thing with a big, beautiful, nice... You can do like a bar, indoor barbecue thing with a big sauce thing. She wants a sink here and a sink there. Does that make sense? Just to do the plumbing to here, it's going to be a nightmare because that's roughed in already. This will have to be exploratory through this, through that, right? But then I want a big, big fridge. But I want to pay like ten thousand for a fridge, right? I want a fridge. Then I want to have like a cooler on the side for water, or whatever. This is come out. Paul lights will be here. These will be all Paul lights, but evenly portioned, and there'll be a. A light here above the sink and it'll have like a bar when the three little hanging lights away from that. So I'll, I'll show you this TV here. This TV was brought brand new. My brother bought a bunch of these things, right? He had one actually in a box here. He brought brand new for 8,000. Never took it in the box. We ended up selling it for like 150. But this one here, this one, it works perfectly. And it's, it's they were around six, seven thousand dollars. This one. That's when everyone wanted a big TV, right? Entertainment room was these big clunkers. Now no one wants them. Can't give them away. We did sell one in the box for 150, which was kind of amazing. I figured, you know, if you're gonna get 100 bucks for whatever, better than me scrapping it for the scrap inside for gold e-waste e e recovery. Uh, it's a shame. I don't want to smash it. I was hoping someone might want it, but who knows? Joe says he wants, but he wants everything. You know, he wanted that one. I said, take it for free. Sat there in a box for six months or a year. Can't, can't rely on people. If you want it, you take it now. Otherwise, it's gonna be, something's going to be done with it. Anyways, I think that's it for the video, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe, share, like. As always, have a great day.